Welcome to Google Drive. Let's take a tour of your drive. Google Drive is your own personal storage box right on the internet. It's a place where you can keep things you write, pictures you take, videos, slideshows, and other important files. It works just like a documents folder you'd keep on your computer, except the whole thing is kept online. That means you can open it up even when you're not at home. This is a Google Drive that's full of files and folders. This is a folder, and these are files. Inside the folders, you can also store more files. Let's click inside this one. When you first open your drive, it will probably be empty. Let's take a look around the outside of your drive so you can understand what all these symbols around the outside mean. First, let's take a look at the top. This is going to be a search bar that allows you to search all the different items inside your drive. We know we have a picture of Elvis here, so I'm going to search for Elvis. When I click search, the picture of Elvis comes up. I also mentioned the word Elvis in another document, so that comes up too. I'm going to click back to get back into my regular folder where I was. Now let's look in the upper right hand corner. Right here is just going to be where your name is. This icon right here is for the other Google apps that are available to you. If you click on that, it'll just give you a menu of a lot of different things. We're not going to be talking about all of these, but that's what's in there. This is the notifications icon. This isn't for email, but this is for other kinds of notifications that you might get. Um, so for example, if you are working on a document with somebody else and they make a comment on it, you may get a notification there. There would be like a red number one or two or something like that to let you know. And this right here would just be a picture of you or whatever uh, image you used for your Google account. Now let's just drop down right here. This is the settings menu. Most users aren't really going to have to even mess around with this. So for right now, we're just going to leave that. But that's how you would change things like the language that you're using in Google Drive, maybe some of the apps that you have connected to it. But most of you are not going to even need to mess around with that. The information button here, if you click on that, it'll actually tell you either the activity that you've been doing lately what items you created in your drive, or if you click on details, it'll tell you things like who owns this folder and that sort of thing. But if you click on individual documents, it'll give you more details about them. It'll tell you sort of like the size, the last time you messed around with it. We'll click on something else. It'll tell you how much memory is in that video. And so that's what that tab is for. You can click it again to remove it. Now this one's real interesting, this one that says AZ. This is the sort options button. Let's see what happens when I click it. I have a lot of different options for how I would want to look at the items in my Google Drive. Right now they're organized by name in alphabetical order. So first the folders are listed in alphabetical order by name and then any extra files that are in there are also li listed in alphabetical order by name. I can change the way I look at them though. If I want to change them by last modified, it's going to show me which ones I changed most recently. So you're going to see now that they're, they're not in alphabetical order anymore. This is the last one I made any changes to. That becomes really helpful when you have a lot of items in your Google Drive and you just want to find the one that you just recently were working on. You can change your view to put things in order of how you worked on them. That's what those are. I'm going to put it back into name order so they're in alphabetical order. This here changes the way you look at them also. Right now, these are in what's called a grid view where you almost see like pictures of some of the files. If you change it to list view, it looks a little bit more like, you know, a, a documents folder on your computer. And you can just click back to grid view if you prefer this view. We're going to talk about these other two icons in a later video tutorial. Let's move over to this side panel. Most of these items over here are going to come into play in the next video tutorial, but I just want to show you two important things right now. First is if I click on this little arrow beside my drive, I can actually get a huge list of all the other folders that are in my drive and look at them that way. But then there's this new button. When you click on this, you get a whole bunch of other options for things that you can add to your Google Drive. You create a new folder, upload a new file, upload a new folder, and then here's the other stuff. And this is what makes Google Drive way, way better than a regular storage folder on your computer because inside Google Drive, you have these free tools that actually allow you to create new things right inside Google Drive. So for example, you can use Google Docs to create a word processing document. This is a lot like Microsoft Word for anybody who's familiar with that. Or you can create something in Google Sheets 
This is a spreadsheet program. It's a lot like Excel for anybody who is used to that. And, and if you're not, this is just uh, kind of like charts and graphs that you would use to keep track of things like numbers and other kinds of information. Another tool that's inside Google Drive is Google Slides. This is basically the equivalent of PowerPoint. And just like in PowerPoint, they have a whole bunch of different templates that you can use to create slideshow presentations. I'll show you one of those that's sort of finished. So just like in PowerPoint, you click present and you get a bunch of slides. Two more tools that'll come automatically with your Google Drive are right through here, Google Forms which is an online survey tool. If you've ever taken an online survey through something called SurveyMonkey or something like that, this is just like that. It allows you to create surveys uh, or questionnaires online that people can actually take online and then you get all the results. There's also Google Drawings, and this is just a basic online drawing tool. You can use this to uh, create pictures and draw on them or I'll just make some real quick thing right here, but it's a drawing tool. The other thing that comes embedded right in your Google Drive is My Maps. This allows you to create and save personal maps using all the tools of Google Maps. You notice that some of these that I've just created have now started to appear in my Google Drive. As soon as you create something new, it starts to appear in here. All of these other tools here are meant to help you keep your files organized, and we're gonna go over that in the next tutorial, Managing Files and Folders.